These 21 short videos will help you quickly see and understand the relationships and patterns between various types of irregular verbs so that you can use them properly. Verbs like keep. The next verbs are verbs like keep. Notice the sound shifts again. Verbs like keep shift vowel sounds in the past and past participle, usually from long e to short e, similar to the ones we just did. The difference is, with these kind of verbs, a final t is added. Let's look at some examples. All right, when we go from the base form to the past and past participle, it follows the same pattern as the ones we did before, e, e, e. The difference here is they add a final t. Creep, crept, crept. Keep, kept, kept. Sleep, slept, slept. And so forth. Now, the few at the top are all the same in their spelling. But you'll notice when we start with the ver verb leap, the spelling is changed again from an EE -E spelling to an EA sound, an EA spelling, but the sound is the same. Leap, leapt, leapt. Now, the thing about leap is it has two forms. One is leapt, which adds the T sound and keeps it in the short vowel sound. Another form is what we call the regular form, which adds simply an ed ending. And in that case, the sound doesn't change. So it would go leap, leaped, leaped. Now you get into other words like deal, mean, dream, and leave. And these also go back to the same pattern, but the pronunciation is different, although the spelling remains the same. So we have deal, dealt, dealt. Mean, meant, meant. Dream, dreamt, dreamt. Now dream is another one which has two forms. One is the irregular dreamt. The other is the regular dreamed with an ed. And in that case, the dreamed remains in the long E sound. Then the last one is leave. It follows the same pattern, leave, left, left, with the E in the past and the past participle and a T ending. In this case, the EA is used in the base form, but only one E left is used in the past in the past participle.